Hello everybody, welcome back to the game room. Today I'm going to replace this chair with a brand new one. That's the whole concept of the video. Hopefully I can make it entertaining to you. Let me show you where the new chair is at. You can see it at the bottom of the stairs there. It's still in the box. So I'm going to push it up the stairs and bring it into the room. So it's called pushback chair and we see that it's 59 pounds or 52 pounds depending on which one of these I go by. I don't know what GW and NW means. It's gray and it's made in Vietnam. And then we got these cool symbols. I believe this one means good for alcoholics. This one means it has a built-in umbrella. This one means it can levitate. This one means it's three-dimensional as opposed to two-dimensional. This means it's not a toilet. This means it has a ouya inside. And I can't think of a joke for these last two, sorry. And from the art on the side, it actually does look like a toilet. And then there's this symbol here, which I believe means you're not supposed to use tiny paintbrushes to paint it with. I'm going to push this up the stairs. Now it is 59 pounds and that's not going to be a problem because of this physique I have. I have been working hard to get in the shape like this. Piece of cake. So why replace this chair at all? It's not too bad, but it does have a lot of flaws. For one thing, this handle does not want to be straight. You should be able to adjust it like this one adjusts a little bit. But for some reason, this is crooked. Every once in a while, I can pop it back into place. But for some reason, it returns to this position. Another thing is it's not very soft. I actually have two of these. I use another one in the office to edit videos on. So a lot of times I'm walking out of the office after spending hours in a chair like this one already, but now I wanna play some video games. So what do I do? I sit in the same type of chair and play video games. And after a while, it just hurts my butt. Especially when you got a butt like mine, it's really flat. I don't have much cushioning back there. I'm sorry if that's too much information, but I think if I was more plump, this would be more comfortable. The best thing about this chair is that it swivels and it's on wheels. Since I have a setup with two TVs, it means I need to shift direction and positioning all the time. So having portability is very important. This does recline. And that's another cool thing that I occasionally used. Not very useful for playing games, but every once in a while, I catch a quick nap in the room like this. But anyway, I know some people like these types of chairs and me re buying a replacement does not mean I totally hate these types of chairs. I just need something that's a little bit more living room like, if that makes sense. Okay, let's take a box cutter and get this thing open. This box looks like it's been to hell and back. Jeez. Let's 
so far so good. Pretty easy. Over like this. Now I need to slip the back on and this will probably be tricky. Let's see. Let's get down here. Oh, I'm totally missing it. It came with these two little things to keep the inside of the box dry. And if you're a game collector and you have a lot of instruction manuals and stuff in a drawer, go ahead and put these in there. It'll help protect them from moisture. I think there were only two colors to select from. I selected gray to go with the carpet in the room. To tell you the truth, it's almost exactly the same as the carpet in here, so it's a little bit hidden, if that makes sense. Well, it's time to do the first sit down. Here we go. <sighs> Gotta get it ready. Ah, very nice. Let's recline. There we go. Let's go all the way back. So here's the thing, I currently have it facing the CRT, but what if I want to play the other TV? Well, I just need to rotate it like this. And it's lightweight, so I have no problem doing it. But I would like for it not to tear up the carpet over time. These feet are smooth and made of plastic. I think they're going to do okay on the carpet in here. But I don't want to take any chances. I would like to go out and get some furniture sliders and see if that will make it smoother to move around. So for the first time ever on this channel, we're going to go on a road trip. We're going to go to a hardware store and get those furniture sliders. All right, let's get this show on the road. Don't worry about my driving skills. I've played many driving video games in my life. So I just want to take a moment to thank everyone who has supported this channel thus far. The last video I made before this one uh, was a smash hit in terms of this channel. I got a lot of subscribers from that video. I think it's 500 or so people have subscribed after watching that video. Had this tremendous surge in Patreon support uh, because of that video, I think. But also because I uh, added some more stuff to my Patreon. So a lot of people go to hardware stores to get a new drill or to get a shovel so they can build a ditch. But other people like me want to get furniture sliders so they can move chairs around their video game room. We're all into different stuff, aren't we? So what store am I going to? Let me give you a hint by singing the theme song. You'll save money, you'll save big money when you shop at... Well, I can't give you that part. Hey, it's Menards. It's an okay place. They have a lot of cheap stuff, which is both good and bad. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna switch to cell phone mode now. Here's what's coming next to the video game room. There's a lot of furniture sliders in here, but most of them are meant to stop the sliding of furniture on wood floors. So I have to be very careful on what I buy here. It also has to be rather large. A lot of these are small. This might do Department of Floorland Security. But I also found this. These are definitely big enough. Okay, so I read the back and these are for carpet and these are for wood floors, the felt. And it contains four of each. So I have to decide between this and this. Or I might just get both and return one. That one is huge. Look at that. I ended up buying both of them. They were seven bucks a piece, so I'll just return the one I don't use. 
so let's head back to the game room. It's tough deciding between the two. This one looks like it's going to be concealed quite well. I just don't know how it's going to stick to the bottom. I don't know if these have adhesive on them or what. It's just barely big enough to fit around the bottom. This one is more than enough to fit along the bottom, but it's going to be sticking out and people are going to see this little brown piece. So I think I'm going to try the other one first. I went ahead and added them to the bottom of the legs and it's now super easy to push and pull this around the room and I absolutely love it. It feels like it's ice skating. They did have adhesive on one side of them so they kind of stick to the bottom. Since they are sticky and part of the sticky surface is exposed right here, there's probably going to be a lot of cat hair that gets caught on these over time. So, Like this piece of grass that's in here for some reason. Watch. See? Now it's sticking to it. They definitely do what they claim on the package. I mean, this is just amazing. I can't believe it. One thing I didn't mention is that there's a pocket along the side here and I can store my remotes in there. Here's the one to the modern TV and here's the one to the CRT. I also have two remotes for the LED lights that are on my gaming setup and I might as well put a light gun in there, you know, for self-defense. I can kind of move it without even getting out of the chair. That's pretty cool. Now, some of you may be asking, Kevin, why don't you just get a couch? Well, a couch doesn't really fit this kind of setup. Since I have a TV on two different walls, I need the ability to swivel it. Now, I could put furniture sliders on it, but it's gonna be a lot more bulky to push around. I'm normally the only one that comes in here to play games. My wife occasionally plays games with me. If she wants to play a two-player game later on today, I'll just roll that other chair in here. Also, having a couch takes up a lot more room. Since I film a lot of videos in here, I need all the room I can to position the camera stand, to position position the two lights and so forth. So I need something small like this. The same goes for large recliners. I've had large recliners in this room in the past for quite a while actually, but they were too bulky to have in there for the filming. So they are currently in my living room. And also the metal mechanisms inside those large recliners make them very heavy. So pushing them around is more of a risk to the carpet than pushing this thing around. So I hope this video was entertaining to you. If you'd like to see another video of mine, I I recommend that one up there in the corner where I also bought something but it turned out to be a big mistake and I lost $150. May your games make you happy and smart and may people respect you for playing them. So long everybody.